Be this freak here. I'm hoping that most, if not all, of my viewership has somewhere to go to church this morning. The other day I was in Lockport and right across the street from a store I sometimes go to there. It was the United Methodist Church and there was a sign on it saying closed until further notice. It's terrible. The church I go to was closed for a while, then went online only for a while, then turned drive-in for a while, and finally reopened. And that's when I went back. I think with the current situation, a lot of people felt like they don't need church anymore. Stopped caring and stopped going. I think we need it more than ever. Paul said, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. We need our church more than ever. And I really wish... You know, I happen to go to a church that has only one service a week. It's kind of a shame, because a lot of other churches are like, you know, they probably have two, three services a week. I guess I tend to stick with what I know. I don't know the situation with a lot of the other churches around. I feel any church that's more left-leaning, more liberal than a United Methodist Church, is probably still shut. And mostly it's going to be your Catholics, Church of Rome, churches that are similar to the Church of Rome, with the exception of Episcopal churches, are probably not even open. And your hardcore Christians are evangelicals. And as much as I consider myself an evangelical, I go to churches sometimes that are evangelically aligned, Baptist type. And They've been deluded by teachers like Cyrus Schofield. And then you have the Holy Rollers. So I tend to avoid a church that considers themselves to be Pentecostal. And yes, I've gone to Pentecost. I had a Pentecostal church that was my main base for a while. Can't remember how long, maybe about a year. In fact, it was right up the street from here.
I've kind of wanted to compensate for that hole because I have a home base church, so to speak, that has only one service a week and doesn't really do it all that much outside of that, especially in the current situation. It's like I don't really know where to go. I consider myself fortunate to have a YouTube community. Even if it's pretty much, you know, oh, a bunch of people followed me from some other channel. Although I know that's not everyone. I know there's Bible form I frequent, and at least one person's followed me from there. There's people who followed me from IRC. I think there might have even been at least one person might have followed me from Reddit. I mean... It's sane to take precautions. We've had too many pe uh, cases of people that refuse to take precautions because Jesus, you know. I feel like, you know that story, someone had this parable they said about this guy you know, he got caught in a flood and he was standing on the roof and some guys came by in a uh, like a little boat and said, you know, oh, we're here to save you. And he said, God will save me. And then some guys come by in a bigger motorboat uh, motorboat and they're like, we're here to save you. And he said, I'm and I'll wait for God to save me. And then a ship comes by and says, we're here to save you. And it says, I'm waiting for God to save me. And then he drowns. And he goes and sees God and says, why didn't you save me? And he says, I sent three people to save you. But that we shouldn't just cower either. I mean, I'm I'm more for taking precautions than a lot of my viewers are. I spent a couple weeks holed up when the lockdown started the first time. Didn't even leave my house for food. But there's a point where it's just, you know, yeah, you take precautions. You don't end your life for it. I mean, I'm taking more precautions probably than most people. I'm not using buses, I'm not using taxis. Because I consider those to be, you know, primary vectors. But I'm not staying cooped up like I was in the beginning. Like, if there's a church worth attending, there's a church worth attending.
It's when we stop going, we stop feeling like we need it, and we backslide. <sighs> Believe me. I think by the time this is over and done with a full half of the churches in America, especially in the North, are going to be gone. And it's a shame. I'm going to even go so far as to say, it's a damn shame. Because people are losing the faith. I would argue that at a time like this we need God. We need, need to get together more. Not less. Jesus freak out. 